Horses on leaving the Pedonk area race number two. Tonight's second race, the first division, two-year-old Colts and Gildings in the second leg of Ohio Sires. Each division racing one mile, a purse of $14,000. This the first of five. Number one, uh, a uh, son of Falcon Elmerhurst, owned by Dan Perdue, John and Robert Morris, and Conrad Boer of Ohio, Dan Perdue trains. Making his sixth career start, and he draws the rail here, Eric Ledford driving Phantom Fire. The two is a Hold Your Breath coach, owned by Don Kelch, Jim Robertson, Michael W., and Michael P. Grant of Ohio, Billy Walters trains, with a mark of 202 and 4 at Northfield Park. Coming in from Ohio Sires at Northfield, Billy Walters driving Richard Breath. The three is a Noble and Sam Colt, John Bonneal and Betty Bauer of Bay Village, Ohio, Marty Willem trains. Making only his second career start here this evening, already with a mark of 202 and 3. In from Northfield Park, Joasic Jr. driving Thunder Dan. The four is a son of Glenn Eagle, owned and trained by Charles Little of Sunbury, Ohio. Also making only his second start off a win, a big win last week, with a mark of 158 and 1. Dave Miller driving Todd's Rays. The 5 is from the first crop of Nuclear Siren. Home of the Lehmans of Columbus and Arledge of Mount Sterling, Jim Arledge Jr., the uh, trainer, making his fourth career start. Donovan Jr. driving Go Nuclear. The 6 is son of Nuke's Image. Owned and trained by Fred Hoff Jr. of Thurman, Ohio. Coming in from Circleville at the County Fair Circuit. Making his second career start. His first per mutual start. Fred Hoff Jr. driving. Clive. The 7 is a son of Tanner's big guy. Owned by Keith and Donna Ross of Fountain, Ohio. Ron Potter trains. Making his fourth career start. In from Ohio Sires at Northfield Park. Don McCurgan behind little guy Colby. Number eight, a son of Towner's big guy, owned by Kelvin Lamb of Marion, Bob Arnett, the uh, trainer. The most experienced in this field with seven starts behind him already. Tonight is his eighth start, but his first start here at Cider Downs, coming in from Northfield Park. Oh, man, driven by Dave Hawk. And from the outside, post nine, a son of Falcon Elmahurst, owned by James Taylor of Troy. Doug Gosney is the uh, trainer, already with a mark of 158 and three. Ken Holiday driving, ah, yes. Division, two-year-old Colts and Gildings. Lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and then first away, Todd's Rays fires quickly for that lead. Clive to the outside, getting away second. Phantom Fire from off the pylons, getting away third, far outside, oh man. From between horses is Richard Breath as they move into the first turn. Sixth at the rail, Thunder Dan, two lengths and uh, seventh to go nuclear. Inside and racing eighth, it's little guy Colby, the uh, trailer ninth, ah yes. In straight alignment here as they reach the first quarter, quick 27 and four, and Todd's raise. Dictating the fractions here. Leads by two. Glive of the inside is racing second. At the rail in third, the 21 to 1 Phantom Fire. And here comes Richard Breath as he's flushed first up to the outside fourth. Oman takes that cover five and he's followed closely sixth by Go Nuclear. Thunder Dan uh, saving ground here up the rail seventh. Little Guy Colby to the outer flow is eighth. Ah, yes, now moving on the back end but continues to trail ninth. They're at the half in 59 and 4. And uh, Todd's Ray is getting a big breather there, leading by three parts of a length as they make the turn to the back stretch. Richard Breath is now there, stalking the leader on the outside. And oh man, he is right there, second over racing third. Glive of the inside is fourth. Phantom Fire fifth on the inside, and the outside is sixth. It's Go Nuclear. Titan Field here as they race towards a three quarter mile marker. Todd's Ray's continues a lead. He's led every step out of the mile. Three quarters in 128 and four. Around the final turn, and Todd's Rays continues the lead, and Richard Breath is still there, a pesky second. Glive of the inside is now waiting for racing room, and here comes, oh man, three wide of the outside. Lost center, eighth of a mile to go, and down.
down the stretch they come. Todd's Rays cling to that lead. Glive, well rested, comes to the outside, and Glive is coming strong to the outside. But Todd's Rays is digging in gamely here. Todd's Rays by a length. Glive second, and Phantom Fire third. Tom of the mile, 157 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside is the unofficial winner, the first division second leg of Ohio Sires, number four, Todd's Rays. A son of Glenn Eagle from the Ombro Alert Mare, Marshanna, owned and trained by Charles Little of Sunbury, handled tonight by Dave Miller. Todd's Rays in his first major stakes, a big winner here, a career mark for him, 157-2. and two. For driver Dave Miller, two quick wins, he sweeps the double tonight, that is a driving double. Trackside to make the trophy presentation. A gentleman who has been uh, very instrumental in the uh, sport of harness racing. He is the uh, president and proprietor of the Kentuckiana Farms, who has been uh, very instrumental in the uh, sport of harness racing, not only in Kentucky, but throughout the entire United States and Canada. He's also the chairman and founder of the Kentucky Standard Bit Sales Company, the parent company of the Jug Sale, the Ohio Breeders Jug Sale held right here at the Cider Downs during the week of the Little Brown Jug. Making that presentation, Mr. Tom Crouch. Second race, now official. The $2 Perfecta for six, $20, 20 cents, 2020. The $2 Trifecta for six, 